continuing on this subject of being proactive and choosing as opposed to being reactive, this is a very important tool in empathic listening and nonviolent communication. So if someone is talking to us and obviously in need of someone who is going to listen to them, we can check with ourselves to see whether we're available for that person to give them the care and, and, um, and attention that they're in, in need of. And if not, then we can be proactive and notify them that this is not a good time for us to, to, to be listening. This may sound callous, it may sound mean, but nonviolent communication is not about being nice, it's about being authentic. This doesn't mean that we don't you know, derive a tremendous amount of joy from giving to other people, but that's on condition that this giving is done out of a conscious intention, that we're really consciously choosing to, to do this. And if not, we're liable to you know, entertain the fiction that this person is being, you know, is forcing us to listen to them, or they're being inconsiderate and you know talking our ear off. So this the idea of being proactive really it connects to the first of Stephen Covey's seven habits of highly effective people, which is being proactive.